Hello, everyone. How are you all? Good, Mr. Mr. Adams. Adams. I hope you all enjoyed your weekend. Miss Robert is still on leave because of her personal emergency. I hope you people are not bored with me and my ideas about the human body and aging. Not at all, sir. This whole experience has been very enlightening for us. We understand so much about the human body and the miracles which can happen to it if we just pay attention to little details and focus on its betterment. Yes, sir. We don't need to be old is the sentence I never expected that I would hear in my real life. (laughs) We really don't. I know it's something too soon to claim, but scientists have been working on the improvement of health and have been experimenting not only on mice, as we all often hear, but also on yeast. And they've been doing trials on them. This all is not in vain. They do it for the better evolution of humans. As our universe is evolving, we humans need to evolve too. Sir, I have a question. At what stage of the cell can we say that the cell has become old and may even stop functioning correctly? Look... There are a few aspects behind the aging of the cell. The cell will start to have a loss of telomeres, the ends of the chromosomes, like the little ends of uh, shoelace kind of things. They get two short cells to stop dividing because of scent sense. Here, senescent is the process of growing old. These cells will start to become mutagens, which cause cancer and inflammatory molecules. Sir, I studied that yeast could live only for a very short period. Now it can live longer than 30 years. How did that happen? That's a very good question, Hedda. The yeast was the first organism that was studied for this purpose. The scientist inserted one more copy of the information regulator gene in the yeast. Voila! It It lived more than 30 years. The same process is being tested on humans and mice. Do they have this information regulator gene? Humans have seven of them, and one has been found in mice. Inside the mice that scientists age themselves are being tested now. Does this mean that we can reset our age? Look, at this point, never say never. Looks like we also need to find a gene that can reset Oliver's sleeve cycle. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and get notified.